All right, YouTubers, welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a look at the Soviet Su-152. Now the Su-152 was a Soviet self-propelled heavy howitzer used during World War II. It mounted a 152 millimeter howitzer on the chassis of a KB-1S heavy tank. Because of its adopted role as an impromptu heavy tank destroyer capable of knocking out the heaviest German armored vehicles such as Tigers, Panthers, and Elephant tank destroyers, it was nicknamed the Beast Slayer. The Stalingrad counteroffensive exposed the Red Army's urgent need for mobile heavy guns. Primary targets for these guns were German fortifications in and around Stalingrad. At the time, Soviet frontline ground units did not possess sufficient firepower to deal with pillboxes and other fortifications. The Red Army had possessed dedicated anti-fortification vehicles in the pre-war period, such as the KV-2 heavy tank armed with the 152.4 mm M10 howitzer. Mass production of the KV-2 ceased in October 1941 when the production plant had to be evacuated. Some made it to 1942, but their actual number remains unknown. During the Soviet offenses, the necessity for a new heavy breakthrough vehicle became apparent. In November 1942, the State Defense Committee ordered the development of a heavy self-propelled gun armed with the 152.4 mm ML-20 howitzer. A new anti-fortification vehicle was designed with the same purpose in mind but with higher mobility, heavier armor, reduced production cost, and the more powerful and accurate ML-20 152mm gun. Mounting an ML-20 in a turret was impossible due to the length of the recoil, and it was eventually decided that the new vehicle should have a non-rotating gun mounted in a fixed casement style superstructure. In December 1942, three different designs of pillbox killer vehicles were introduced by various engineer groups from the major Soviet artillery and tank factories. All of these designs mounted the ML-20 gun on the KV-1S heavy tank chassis. After some discussion, the project of Joseph Koten was chosen for further mass production. The project was designated KV-14, an assembly of the first prototype called Object 236 began on December 31st, 1942 and was completed in about 25 days. The ML-20 gun was slightly modified for mounting in the KV-14. Some handles were moved to improve gunner comfort. This modification was redesignated the ML-20S. The muzzle velocity and external ballistics were identical to the original towed ML-20 gun. Plant trials of the Object 236 began on January 25, 1943, with state trials following soon after. On February 14, 1943, the State Defense Committee accepted the KV-14 for Red Army service and immediately launched it into mass production. The designation was changed from KV-14 to SU-152. Although not originally designed for the anti-tank role, the SU-152 proved to have surprisingly good anti-tank capabilities due to the ML-20S's extremely heavy HE projectiles. Standard doctrine for purpose-built anti-tank guns of the period usually relied on small, dense, solid projectiles propelled to high velocities optimized for punching through armor. 
However, tests performed on captured Tiger tanks in early 1943 showed that the Su-152 was able to destroy them at any range with a fair degree of reliability simply by blowing the turret off the vehicle through sheer blast effect. The Su-152 was the only vehicle in Russian service capable of doing so at the time. This fortuitous discovery spurred massive Su-152 production and the formation of self-propelled artillery units, which then functioned as heavy tank destroyer battalions. After the launch of Su-152 mass production, the design was slightly modified to improve reliability. Initially, the Su-152 lacked a machine gun, which was recognized as a severe weakness in urban warfare and other close combat situations. To solve this problem, a 12.7 millimeter anti-aircraft gun started being installed in the summer of 1943. The Su-152 was the last member of the KV family of tanks in mass production and was replaced by the ISU-152 on the production lines in December 1943. The exact number of Su-152s produced is unknown, with the most common figures being from 670 to 704. The Su-152s that survived World War II were withdrawn from Soviet Army service in 1954. Now in War Thunder, the Su-152 is a rank three with a battle rating of 5.0. It has a 839 horsepower engine propelling the 45.5 ton vehicle to a top speed of 28.2 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 152 millimeter ML20S cannon and with a maxed out crew, you can achieve a reload of 22.6 seconds. So what do I think of the SU-152 here in War Thunder? Well, basically, I love it. It's one of my favorite vehicles. Let's compare it to a KV-2, which some people hate and some people love, but it has a lower profile. It's faster. It has a more accurate gun with a faster reload. The only drawback would be that it's a casement style tank destroyer and some people don't really like those but it really doesn't bother me all that much. I'm used to playing with casement style tank destroyers. Try not to get in to close quarters combat in this type of vehicle because it doesn't have a turret. You have to rotate the entire vehicle to get the gun on target and you can be easily outmaneuvered and flanked. So let your teammates advance. Let them start drawing the fire and the focus of the enemy team, you pop out from behind cover and give them 152 millimeters of love. So you notice that I said pop out from behind cover to administer the pain. The vehicle's reload rate is too long to stay out and try to exchange shots with your enemy. If you don't kill them or somebody else sees you while you're out there, you're gonna get taken out. So pop out, fire, get back behind cover. This vehicle will draw attention just like the KV-2. So be aware of that as well. It's that deadly. Okay, so let's hop into a game and see what I was able to do with the SU-152. Okay, we picked up Tunisia. That's fine with me. We are in the northern section. It looks like there's only going to be one cap point there in the center. I'm definitely not going to go to the city. I think that uh, we're going to come around to the west and see if we can get some flanking fire on people heading to the cat point. 
That's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna take the long way. If I head up through there, I think I'll I'll be spotted and get taken out. So I'm gonna stay back pretty far. We're running in this little um, road that's like a little trench. It's giving me good cover. We only have 20 rounds of ammo on this vehicle. So we need to make our shots count. Let's see, I'm gonna try to keep this rock here to protect my right flank and Oh. oh, there we go. Can we see them? Can we? Yes, we can. Let's pull down. Pull forward a little bit in this little depression. See if it'll hide us. Back up and take a look. Everybody seems to be only spotted by teammates. I don't think I have direct sight, so I need to move up. There we go. That one turned bright red. And that one too. Let's see. Oh my goodness, that hit him so hard, he's going to have damage in his next game. Wow, right through the front. Love this tank. <laughs> oh, wait. There we stay. Oh, I don't want to fire at a moving target. What's that? An M4? There we go. There we go. Booyah. An M4A2. Do I have a shot on him? He's causing some problems up there, I think. For my teammates. But I really don't have a shot on him, and I don't want to waste ammo on him. Oh, I don't want to get too far up. There we go. I keep a looking on that mini map. I got a teammate up here to my left. Is that that M4 again? Can I get him this time? Uh, no. Let's go look for something else. Oh, gotta pull a little bit further. Oh, he's moving. I'm sitting out here too long. Alright, let's get back. 
I hit him, but I don't think I took him out. Uh, but I, ju I just wanted to shoot at something. I was sitting out there way too long. Way too long. Luckily, I didn't get taken out. Okay. Let me get a shot on this M4. Oh. I got hit. Now, they just hit me. I'm not going to pop out in the same place again. That's just asking to get taken out. I sat out there too long. Oh, somebody's trying to come around. That surprised me. Who is it? Oh, I don't have a shot. Hit his barrel. Dang it. It's KV1. The barrel took the impact. He survived. I need to watch out. I don't have a shot. He is going to cause me problems. Oh, what to do, what to do. I was going to come around the right side of this big old rock. But I don't want to give that KB-1 my flank. So I'm going to come back around here again. An eye out for him. Hopefully, they've forgotten about me. That's an M4. Oh, I don't have a shot on those guys. How about this guy over here? No, he's moving. Oh. Let's try it. Oh, I hit him, but I got him in the turret. Didn't kill him. Oh, there's an M18 over there who's worked his way pretty deep. Keep an eye on him too. Let's see. Oh, something hit me. Come on. Let's do it. Are you telling me that I did not kill an M18 <laughs> with <laughs> Oh man, I thought that was going to be a gimme. Okay. Let's see. I need to look for this KV-1 while I'm over here. Oh, there he is. I hit the barrel. There we go. Okay, so he was close enough I was able to shoot beside the barrel. And uh, he is not going to bother me anymore. But, I've lost a crewman. And the other people in the tank are not very happy. But now I can come around to this side. Let's see what's over here. There we go. Very good. 
stay behind cover while we're reloading. I'm just going to peek. See if there's any targets to shoot at over there. Okay, we're up. Come out. Swing around. Do I have it? Nope. Maybe. Why, yes I do. Uh oh, get back, get back, get back. Back behind my rock. Okay, Let's see. line that up very well. Oh man. Alright, let's get back behind the rock. Get back behind the rock. Time to reposition. That. Is that the M4? There we go. Okay. My reload is a little longer. But it's coming up now. There we go. Oh, I don't have the gun depression. Gotta come up further than I want to. There we go. Oh! That F2 is after me. He is after me. Is it the professor? Is that what that says? Never did like school. Let's see if we can teach the professor a lesson. Oh, he knows better. Is he gonna come back out? I don't know. this rock a little better. I'm taking a chance. The professor might come out and take me to school. shot on this guy. There you go. Hold up right there. There you go. Oh, that, nope, that's somebody else. Ah, but I think I critted him and stopped him. Maybe I'll get another shot in on him. Stay right there. We'll make it quick. There we go. Hope the professor's back out. I have to keep an eye on him because he knows where I am. Oh! 
doggone it. He is after me, man. I got to move. The professor is trying to teach me a lesson. He's doing a pretty good job of it. I was hoping he would be focused on somebody else by now. Reload is really slow. I don't even know if I'm gonna get another shot off when the game ends. Come on, let me get up. Oh. Okay. So that was pretty good. I really enjoyed this vehicle. enemy team is lucky that the professor was harassing me. I might could have got one or two more. So, all right. We got first strike, teamwork, tank rescuer, professional, shadow strike streak, one shot, Heavy Metal Hero, and the best squad. Yeah, you get a lot of one-shots with this. We destroyed 12 enemy vehicles, one assist. Not bad, first place in the team. 37,486. See, yep, I had nine, Professor had five, let's save it. Professor was hawking me, man. <laughs> Okay, so that was a look at the SU-152. If you have not entered the M10 Achilles giveaway, look down in the description below. Um, click that link. If I have not reached 5,000 subscribers, that giveaway is still going on. If you're watching this a couple of months from now, and I've already reached 5,000. Uh, I apologize, subscribe anyway, and we will be giving away um, something else at a later date. I haven't decided when, but uh, yeah. If you like this look at the SU-152, hit that like button, subscribe if you would. It really helps. You can check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Twitch links are down below in the, in the description but as always thanks for watching nerd out